DAP in Penang say that they will amend the state constitution to prevent party hopping. This is typical of DAP's political spinning, so that outwardly they look good. All of us will not forget the infamous September the 16th, where Anwar claimed that he will form the government through Barisan National MP hopping to Pakatan Raya. At that time, Anwar received unanimous support from DAP, from Kaadelan and PAS. And when that failed subsequently, DAP was so proud that they received two ex amno leaders who hopped from AMNO to DAP. And after that, DAP even said that, oh, they are hero, they should be given two seats to stand in this coming election. The recent case is the two Kata from Sabah also hoped to quit AMNO and join Pakatan Raya. They were well, all welcome as hero. So why is DAP keeping quiet on all this hopping? And going DAP himself received these two Kata from AMNO. If DAP is committed to prevent party hopping, it's very simple. The party can amend its constitution. Party constitution is the easiest to amend. To say that the party will not accept any party hopper or political kata. And if they jump, they will not be offered any seat. The whole story ends. Why you need to go to the state assembly? When you go to the state assembly to amend the constitution, you look good, a lot of publicity. But you know it is against the constitution to restrict political freedom. It will ultravile the constitution. The end of the day is making a lot of noise to attract attention, publicity, but it is not as honourable as what DAP make it out to be.